Sruji, just stay on with us. We have a view even coming in from Angel uh, Stock Broking. Uh, the analyst over there, Sabarjit, now joins us on a phone line. Sabarjit, your first reaction on the acquisition that uh, Lupin has done? Uh, actually, yet to see the details in terms of uh, what kind of a top line the company, the acquired company has. But uh, uh, $800 million, uh, depending upon the size uh, and the scale of operations, uh, I need to form a view, actually. I have not seen, the, and I have not got the details as to the whole, uh, uh, about the company. Right. So, can you just talk to us about uh, the numbers first and then uh, we can brief you about the acquisition as well? Uh, Number-wise, uh, disappointing set of numbers. Sales uh, continues to be lower. Margins uh, decently uh, lower than expected. Uh, overall, uh, uh, lower set of performance, uh, reasons remaining the same, U.S. not uh, faring well, Japan still under currency impact, uh, R&D impacting margins, adjusting for which obviously uh, uh, performance have been good enough. I guess uh, it's, it's looked like, uh, and uh, currently the news have come in about the Goa 483, so let's see uh, all these, how these pan out for the company for the this year and the next quarter. Right. Uh, see, you know what I have right now, which I can tell you is that uh, uh, they have uh, the company that they have acquired is Gavis. It's a U.S. based company. Uh, it's a U.S. based generic company. Now, in FY14, their sales were about $96 million and they are paying a consideration of $880 million. 66 ANDAs is what they have. 65 products are currently uh, under development. Uh, it is almost close to nine times price to book uh, price to sales. Uh, an expensive yeah. acquisition, you would say, if it's a U.S. generic based company at nine times price to sales? Oh, uh, looks very expensive, actually. Prima facie definitely looks very expensive, but I guess um, um, Lupin is not uh, known very aggressive in terms of uh, acquisition. So I need to know further details as to what are the reasons uh, for which they would have paid such a huge amount because eight, $80 million company and... Uh, a uh, pipeline which is not that big also and with the uh, sales as you're saying 100 around 100 million dollars uh, looks very actually very expensive and growth rate uh, Sabat, just wanted yeah. to say that these are uh, fy14 sales numbers so maybe even if you assume a 20 yeah. percent growth rate to these numbers uh, it yeah. would be 120 and about seven to eight times yeah unless i don't know whether the product portfolio of this company whether it's a branded company what kind of gen it's a pure pure generic then it's very expensive Right. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, Doxylene is one of their big products, which, uh, uh, which you know, even uh, Sun Pharma has. Apart from that, uh, maybe another two, one or two blockbuster products. But overall, even seven times, even if you have one or two good products in your portfolio, would be yeah, expensive, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah it's, right. Uh, it looks, it looks very expensive, actually. Right. Uh, uh, Surjit, are you, with, uh, uh, are you also with us? I just wanted to get a sense on the numbers also from you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, about the quarterly results, the U.S. market, the degrowth over there, sales not picking up. See, I think, uh, see, uh, it would be pretty uh, unfair to uh, compare with Q1, FY15 vis-a-vis Q1, FY16, because Q1, FY15 was the highest in, 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 in very near to medium term last, uh, you know, few quarters. So if I take even the Q4 number, I think Q4 number, they had around 211. I think that number has come down quite a bit. I roughly around 10, 15 million dollars has come down. And which I think more than anything else, it is Suprax contribution. Uh, US market remain to be so because, uh, uh, because I, I think competition is growing up. It's not coming down. On the other hand, uh, these companies, most of the product, like, see, for example, management is saying this year they have around four to five uh, important products, including Nexium, including also Trisect and Low, uh, Glumates, uh, um, and, uh, and, 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 and few more. We'll call is one among them. So even, even those things put together also, if I compare the last year base, which was pretty high, even bottom line, I don't find more than 5-6% year-on-year growth. So, this will be the company is commanding even few days back around 24-25 times if I 17p and 31-32 times of if I 16p, uh, which is definitely not in sync. So, I believe that, uh, you know, uh, price correction or valuation correction was definitely... 
in the horizon. Right, uh, so Jay, thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, with your first reaction. Once we get more details, uh, we'll get back to you for another year. Uh, Sarajit, thank you so much for your initial reaction. Once we have the release as well as further details uh, of the acquired company coming in with the product portfolio that you wanted, we would definitely uh, get back to you. Lupin is down about 5.3%.